The Manuscript of Survival, Part 314. May 24, 2013. The time of change has been a long time coming for you all, but now, it is as if you can feel the breath of fresh air coming at you, even if your physical and mental bodies may feel more than worse for the wear at the moment. Much has indeed changed already, but there are still some pockets of resistance within as you all go through this last uphill towards that final goal you have been seeking for many a lifetime. Remember, you started your quest for this freedom a long, long time ago. It has been a journey that spans more than one lifetime, and even if you have not been aware of it for most of these lifetimes, you have had a yearning for that day almost forever. You see, the seed that has been lying dormant for so many generations has not been completely silent, and its small voice has been perceived in all sorts of ways. Some of the actions taken on by mankind have always been governed by that small voice, whether they may be looked upon as good or bad, because that small voice has in many ways been like a tiny little grain of sand itching away inside. There has always been something there, indefinable, that has pushed mankind ever onwards. Of course, the road chosen for this onwards has not brought only joy and happiness. In fact, you have been effectively waylaid by other forces so that your quest for finding the place that will silence this urge within has wrought you all out on a limb. But now, mankind has finally found a way to interpret the calling from this voice in the way that it was originally meant to be. And that original intent was this, and only this as a beacon of light that would lead you all to regain your former glory in all intents and purposes. For some, that small inner voice will still act as a mere irritant, something that leaves them no option but to lash out in frustration and despair. For they have long since given up the urge to really, really listen to this voice and heed its call. Instead, they look upon it as nothing more than an irritating pest, buzzing ceaselessly around them. And they swat and they duck and they try all sorts of things to eradicate this voice, but to no avail. But then one day, someone like you comes along. Someone who has taken the time to sit down in silence and really, really listen to what this inner voice has been trying to tell you all along. And you have seen the truth in its message for change. For it is not a grain of sand gnawing away at your soul anymore. It is a shimmering iridescent pearl of such beauty it takes your breath away when you finally see it emerge from the deep layers within. For you have all seen the beauty of this pearl, this inner seed of knowledge that has been lying there dormant, waiting for the light to start to sprout and grow. And now, that seed, that pearl within, has not only started to sprout, it has started to grow so much it is already enveloping much of you in its radiant and lush foliage of bliss and joy. True. You still feel the ravaging storms hit you hard at times, but when they subside, you can savor the bliss from within your new abode of light and love that is stretching and growing and covering more and more. Not only of you, but your surroundings as well. And when one of you, who has allowed this inner seed to emerge and to flourish, comes across one of those still carrying that seed as a dormant little grain within, the light and the exuberant energy you exude will also call to that inner hidden seed. And when your vibration comes into contact with this small, still dormant seed, it literally wakes it up and gives it the signal that now, the conditions for growth are so much more favorable than before. And then magic can start to happen. For there are those becoming even more irritable as that inner seed starts to make its voice heard more and more because of these signals to start to grow. But there are so many others finally starting to heed that call, and to listen to it in a way that will make them to allow that inner sprouting to take place. And so you will see these inner gardens starting to emerge all around you. Some of them are vibrant and lush from the very get-go, while others are more prone to staying too close to the shadows and need some extra coaching and light to attain a more vigorous growth. So you are in a way all gardeners in this, not only by maintaining your own healthy and vigorous growth, but also by helping others to nurture their inner gardens. For every healthy garden there is, many others will be inspired and indeed spurred on by merely watching your growth. For, as we have told you earlier, you are no longer invisible, for you carry with you the signals of this newfound vitality wherever you go. 
Granted, because of these growth spurts you will feel less than vital yourselves at times, but that is only to be expected. And remember, this seeming lack of vitality and this torpor you experience are not because of a lack of energy, far from it. It is merely a signal of a super boost having taken place, and so, your physical body needs a little downtime to accommodate it all. But you are all growing dear ones, and you are turning into these magnificent, lush havens that will help to nurture mankind and indeed this whole planet forever. So remember to rest in the shade of your own beauty, and try not to feel too downcast on those days when you feel yourself flagging. For you have already passed that stage of growth where you are at your most vulnerable, so there is no stopping you now. We salute you all on this magnificent day, as we see you standing shimmering in the light, getting ready to step forth with all the magic you carry within. The Constant Companions Channeled by Asia North AsiaNorth.wordpress.com